Hey, Guy Fox here. Welcome back to Market Monday. We got a nice agenda for you today. Some good tips I think you guys like. We're going to talk about the market, where it's at, what happened with heroes. Uh, we'll talk about training a little bit, uh, a little bit of the crashing. Uh, we'll talk about the schedule from here through Thanksgiving and Blitz, what's to be expected in the coming month. Uh, we'll be talking about how to get cheap elite badges. Let's get right into it. Um, lowest by now uh, for the certain market trends that we look at every week. The golds, the elites, to go into those elite set. Basically like a where is the market at the moment type of uh, look. So let's start with the golds. The 7074s, these things seem to have hit their floor and are kind of staying there. 850 to 950, 900 or so. Similar to last week, uh, that's basically been the same thing for... I don't know, three weeks, about a month ago, it was trending up higher to 1,000, but low-end golds are down, and they'll stay down until we get something that really brings a shock into them, some sort of you know team set that requires a lot of new golds. We got the diamonds already, so I don't know if they're going to do that again like they did like Man of the Month in the past. Um, the high golds are at uh, 2,000. Um, that is down a bit. Uh, this is actually a little bit later in the night than I uh, took my, my normal notes. I'm recording late night, Fox. Um, so I took my notes at about 2250. Um, there's some up a little bit lower than that at 2000. But um, to keep it, keep it consistent week to week, sorry if I'm slurring my words. I do that when I'm tired a little bit. To keep it consistent week to week, I try to take it at similar times. Um, so that's down very slightly. But the gold market itself is kind of kind of at a rock bottom spot. I don't know about rock bottom, but it's pretty low on the edge. Um, the elites, 9300, 9900. Um, we're going to keep that probably consistent like 9,000, 93, 93 right here. Um, that, the 80 to 81s haven't really moved much. Uh, there wasn't many cards to infuse into that market. That's pretty contrary to what we saw with the 82 to 83s, 84, 85. Those markets got pumped full of fresh blood, full of uh, fresh uh, mutt heroes here. Um, so we had, we had a few of those in here. Wait for them, 17K. Now, it's not really hitting too much, but these things were down around 14 to 15 um, over the weekend, at least when Friday, Saturday came along. Uh, but overall, the, the market, I guess it's not too terribly off. It was 15K last week. We're seeing it trending down to 14, uh, between 14.2, 14.7 here. Uh, so a little bit lower. Um, and that thing's been, that's a long term trend ever since I first started recording. Like down, it was at like 20,016. Bounced back up. I forgot why. Um, maybe like started introducing flashbacks or something. I don't remember what it was. Bounced that 82 to 83 market. Then it went down from 19 to 18, 16, 15. Now it's in the 14s. This will keep dropping. Uh, by the time you see this, I think uh, you might have flashbacks out. So that might be up a little bit by the time you see this video in the morning. Um, all right. The 84 to 85s. These ones are kind of like the big shock. Uh, because of the amount of mutt heroes that are introduced. As you see them right here. Uh, this this was a big shock to the market. Training uh, has fallen too. We'll get to that in a second. So with the infusion of mutt heroes in them Building out of packs quite a bit. Uh, the the eight, this mark went from 28.5 to 23.24 ish. Uh, so that's you can obviously find these cheaper by filtering down further. But that kind of big that along with uh, other markets took a big dump. The training is down to 55 coins per training. Uh, that's down from started at 80, 82, 80, 75, 70, 65, and now 55. I talked a little bit last week about seeing training falling. I was speculating on why I didn't really know exactly. Obviously, a new card infusion, a whole bunch, a new promo with a bunch of people pulling packs is going to reduce the training a lot. Um, I don't know what's going to bring up training unless there's some sort of training promo or I, I don't know what raises training going forward uh, with the exception of a stagnant market. A stagnant market will raise prices um, unless, unless something happens. But usually with the card infusions that we're going to start getting over the next few months, I wouldn't expect training to exactly rebound um, too high. So I, I saw some people talk about st stocking up and training. And I, th I think in the short term, we might get a little bit of a bump. But, man, I don't see it. Halloween in two weeks, a few weeks after that. Uh, what, what is a few weeks after that? We're going to get to that. Uh, but, yeah, between Halloween and Thanksgiving is a little bit of a, a, little bit of a distance. So uh, maybe. Uh, but we'll get that in a second. So training right now, it's at a fine price compared to where we were a few weeks ago. But, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys see training going back up. I don't see anything too crazy to make it go back up. I could see slight bumps into it, though. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, moving on from the crash of the 84s. Hopefully, guys, you bought, like I always talk, bought, buy during the night, the hype of the promo. If you're with me in stream, if you watch the stream, we would talk about this plenty, like when to buy, 
what not to buy. Generally, the hype of the promo, the promo itself, are, are not necessarily, the first day is not the great time to buy the new cards. That's always the worst time. But to buy old cards, they crashed. Across the whole market went down. Um, and, and we've seen that, you know, you could touch everything from these elites on up to the high end um, lots and, and those kinds. So hopefully that you did well there. Um, the schedule here, so we're going to get most feared. If we look back at uh, Mutthead, I'm not going to show it to you, but we'll get mo most feared here on the 19th. You can see that from the um, objectives. If we don't get most feared, I'll be super surprised. They're expiring 1019 at 10 a.m. Eastern. So, I mean, lock it in, basically. If you want to sell your team before most feared, you have until, you got like one week to use your team, right? You want to sell Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but I'm not going to. I'm pretty satisfied with my team. Last year, most feared. I wonder if they'll do the same type of promo again. They gave us basically three top end cards at three different positions. And the first, there was only two that came out at first. Scary Tall, Scary Strong. Um, it gave us a bunch of like decent cards and one commander, like Ray Lewis, Tony Gonzalez. They gave us Scary Fast Moss. So they gave us like three top end cards at Halloween. I don't, people bitched about it. You know, it's a promo. I think this Mud Hero promo kind of like, people, you know, bitch about this too. And I, I did too when they were, when I was told that nobody spent, didn't get a lot of coins uh, or for whatever. Then I was like, all right, this year. But that was ended up being fake news. So I think the Mud Hero promo, probably one of the better promos we'll see for a little bit, at least until Thanksgiving. I hope most fear they revamp it. I'm not a big fan of the morphing and the morphing's gotten kind of gotten like really whack in recent years. The morphing on the cards is kind of like, oh, they're like a little bit taller, a little bit better, uh, but they really don't really have fun with it like they used to. They don't make a, a 10 foot tall Dawkins or something like that. So most feared, I hope I'm setting my bar low for most feared based off last year's most feared. Uh, so that's it. That's where I'm at for that. Um, after that, we got the GOAT Hall of Fame expansion on November 13th last year. So expected like, cause there's in years prior, back when, you know, EA tried a little bit more, put a lot more diversity into the mud, uh, we saw like a road uh, to the playoffs, a mid-season thing where they absolutely blew the back out right after Halloween too. Like it was just an absolute flood of content um, and it was amazing. That was like new cards across the board. Uh, every Almost every single guy got a new card. Uh, like not every single one, but there was like 100, more than 100 new cards. Uh, and that was sweet. Uh, but I don't expect it again. After the ho So we're going to have a little bit of lull between Halloween and Thanksgiving. They're going to try and probably give us some, some upgrades to our Hall of Fame guys. They did that last year, kind of the midpoint. They gave us those small other things, um, some week-to-week -week things, nothing too major, until Thanksgiving. We'll probably get that on the 16th this year. I would imagine we'll get it the week before Thanksgiving like we did last year. Um, and then 16th. I mean, could we see it the 9th for Thanksgiving? the 22nd, potentially. Um, but I'm guessing the 16th, like last year, then we'll get the uh, Blitz promo, the 23rd. Um, so we'll have some some fun with those things. Though That's always fun. I like the Blitz promo. It's one of my favorite of the whole year because it's like an event. Uh, I, I really do like events in the game, kind of like, you know, the Fortnite events and stuff. Um, so that's what's coming over the next month. So look forward. Like I said, the 19th is the big date you got to look forward in the next uh, week or so. All right. Now... Let's talk about Mutt Hero. So these sets, um, sorry I didn't talk about this in the agenda. Um, I wrote it down somewhere else. So these Mutt Hero sets, they were profitable until they aren't. It's like everything in this game. Like We see these new things put in the game. That's why I always say, investigate the sets right away. Right away, look at the sets, see if you can make some coins off them. Try them out, throw some coin at them if you had the chance. Otherwise, watch YouTubers or streamers and stuff and watch them do the sets. So I was using a lot of the Sidekick Exchange to go two for one to get the expensive sidekicks using cheap sidekicks in order to build. I'll show you my spreadsheet here in a little bit um, to build these fantasy packs. You could also, people were able to take these alter egos and turn them into random sidekicks. This is all back when sidekicks went for a little bit more than they go for now, uh, when they were going crazy that first day. Um, so we were using those sets to make some coins. A lot of people were talking about, they were also doing these Mud Hero sets and using the objective to make coins. Great. Like I said, like I talked about during the Mud Hero videos, Always expect the sets. Always look at this shit. Awesome stuff. We got some new ones. We got a new one today or yesterday based on when you watch this. Um, the September Standout Football Outsiders. It's tough. Elite gold and silver tokens. Pricey. That's a pricey set. And you could potentially be 
boned with one of the lower end cards in the Football Outsiders. And, you know, obviously you can make uh, some Lambo money, uh, but it's random chance, right? So try it out if you like to. Series trophies, a little expensive, but I think that's pretty well balanced with the expense of the tokens um, because for the quick sale value of the series trophies. It's always good that we get more sets. I like more sets than less. Uh, the more the merrier, as I say it. It's already confusing enough. Might, might as well just blow our backs out um, with, with confusing sets for, for, the, for the noobs that don't get it, right? For us experts, we can make some coins off it. Um, anyways, those football siders, they were, just, they were okay sets. Um, but I wouldn't think there was anything crazy in them. Uh, some people said they had some nice pulls. Some people said they had trash pulls. Pretty normal. But with the talk about that elite token... Actually, sorry. Let's go back to the Mud Heroes. My apologies. So let's go back to the, the spreadsheet I was using on building those sets. Uh, basically, what I did, um, I taught, took my cost to build. So I was going to do all 32, but then I realized after a while, I was going to take a huge L. Because the, the prices start, when I was doing this during the day on stream, um, I was doing really well uh, and I was making profit. But then my guys start, stopped selling partway through and prices started to drop on me. Um, that's when I cut it off. I cut it off after Brocker. So you see my sell price, you see the cost to build. The Wake, the Brockers, the Lux, they all uh, blew my back out. Um, did I sell Wake, Lux? Uh, anyways. So I ended up only making 100 k off doing nine sets. And I was like, oh, crud. All right, we got one more reward at 10 and 12. So I did three more, the Wagner, the Short, the Cannon. Um, for those things, I got those rewards for the 10 and 12. I'll show it to you in-game. Um, so you really want to really want to you know price out how much you're gonna cost to sell versus build um, heroic list. So I went all the way through 150k. So I basically made 150k, 150k because I kind of washed even with a little bit, took a little bit of loss. So maybe maybe what 250 based off the losses I took on the prices of sell once I made 10 through 12. After that, after that, as you see, um, I could potentially make some profit, or at least I was. I haven't updated the spreadsheet in a couple days. I need to do four more to get 250k. So I'd take 140k loss just to get 250. And then I need to create eight more. So we'll do eight more after that. I would need to take a, well, did I miss that? Can I count this later night? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that sounds right. I would need to take a 400k loss to make 450. And it takes a lot of time to do these things. I mean, they're not, they're not, and if, if you snipe, they're potentially better. Um, obviously, but you can say that about anything. You can just spend your time regularly sniping on the block. So, always try and, like, think out ahead of time. Like, when I was doing the stream, I wasn't really thinking at first, doing the Brockers wick. I was like, oh, I'll just do all 32. It'll work itself out in the end. Then I started taking hard L's. I was like, okay, I'll just quit while I'm ahead. Do a couple more smart sets, then, then book it out of there. Um, so definitely take a look at that. I want to give probably one of the best tips. I think Tex has been sitting on it for a while. Uh, we talked about it on the podcast. He was, he was, he was devastated this is getting out to more people. Um, so we'll, we'll let it, we'll th let the sunshine go on to it. So we'll just expand what we talked about there, kind of get numbers behind the podcast. So listen to the podcast for tips like this if you want them first. Uh, I know they're sometimes buried an hour into that, but uh, they're pretty valuable, pretty good podcasts we put out for at least information-wise. All right, so you take the 72, the 73 Legends, or just regular power-up players. To get to 80 overall for the 72 Legends, it takes 70 training points. 70 training points at 55 training points per which you're currently getting at 3850 a regular 80 overall goes for nine nine thousand so you are over half like half is cheap half is expensive you're saving half your coins on the 80s on the 82s it takes 140 just about half on the 84s a little bit, a little bit better too. Going to 280. So if you end up buying um, these, these 72s cost about 2,000 coins a pop. So you can add that onto the top. Uh, but you could have a couple in your binary. You can do the solos for free, quote unquote, or you can sell them. It's opportunity cost. Um, but you can sell them with the power up training. Get them a little bit cheaper. Um, obviously, you know, you add 2,000, 4,000 plus 6,000, 10,000 on top. So you come out a little bit cheaper than just doing the regular elite badges. It's not a huge savings, but it's uh, not bad. Pretty decent. Really depends on uh, what the market's at, though. So that is the power-up legend cost 
currently to do it. Obviously, yeah, like I said, add the 10k onto that versus that. Uh, you can save save a little bit of coins that way. All right, so that is um, the tips, the market Monday, uh, and uh, that's all I want to talk about this week. What do you guys think? We got the upcoming promos, everything. Sorry, I'm, I'm not that energetic. It's late at night, um, and uh, I might be slurring my words. So take it easy, dudes. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.